This is a honking kill switch. It literally honks when you try to start it. And this is my dad, the creator of the honking kill switch. He is an auto mechanic of 40 years, and after thieves attempted to steal our truck 20 times in one year, we made it our mission to try to stop thieves once and for all. So that leads me into this video, breaking down the top five anti-theft devices to protect your truck against thieves. We're gonna be breaking down exactly what the anti-theft device is, how effective it is, and also how much it costs. But first, we need to show you exactly how a thief breaks in the truck, so that way we can break down what we need to protect against them. Thief comes in here, they have a, usually have a screwdriver. They pop your lock, pop your door, just like that, they're in. Now from here, it's it's as easy as one, two, three to get your truck started. All you gotta do is have some sort of screwdriver or turning device. Usually what they do is they'll break the lock real quick. Tool here. Just like that, guys. If you don't have a kill switch, don't have a ton of stuff on it, that's how easy it is to start your truck. Let's say for some weird reason they can't get it started by breaking the lock. There's another way that you can start this truck that I have an anti-theft device for, and I'm gonna show you guys that right now. Thief comes in here, they pop the hood. They aren't able to get it started by turning it. Take any metal device, and you can touch these two terminals here, just like that. <laughs> that easy seconds seconds it started guys seconds now that you guys have seen just how easy it is to steal your truck i'm going to be breaking down the five best anti-theft devices to protect against this we're going to be starting off with an alarm system for this example i'm going to be using a viper alarm system this is just the best alarm system for my truck that i can find online and i've seen people who use this alarm personally and i love it this alarm is going to run you between 300 and 500 to install that's with somebody installing it if you were to install it yourself obviously it'd be a little bit cheaper a lot of times these are able to just break your lock and break in from there and no alarm goes off at all sometimes but with the alarm system, we're gonna be making a lot of noise. And one thing that I've noticed with thieves is they hate attention and they hate noise. The more noise you can make, the less likely it is for the thief to steal your stuff. However, since alarm systems are so commonly going off, a lot of people don't even pay attention to them and they honestly think it's an accident. When a thief breaks in, if it's just the alarm going off, majority of the time they can either cut the alarm off with wire cutters or people won't even pay attention to it and they'll steal your stuff, steal your truck anyways. That is why for the rating on this, I'm giving it a seven out of 10 on the effectiveness. This is on my lower end of the effectiveness just because all it really does is make noise. It doesn't really protect against the thief actually breaking in. This brings me on to my next one and much better one at protecting your truck. And that is actually replacing the back door handle with your front door handle. Now, obviously if you do this, you're gonna need a key fob to open your truck. With doing this, there is no lock for the thief to break and the thief to push up on. As you guys can see right here, thieves have actually broken my lock out. So I don't even have a spot where thieves can even push up on anymore because I have to open the back door, pop the top on here and then open it that way. The cost to do this is pretty cheap. It is about $40 and the effectiveness is about a nine out of 10. If you put this on there, pretty much thief proofing your truck. Now, granted, they still can break your window, but if they're going to do that, they're more likely to steal the stuff inside versus actually driving the truck off. So let's say thieves get past your back door handle, they get past your alarm system, and now they're on to actually taking your truck. This is where my honking kill switch plays a huge role in saving your truck from thieves. Thief will come in here normally, majority of the time, they'll break your lock. Obviously, they will have my key, screwdriver, or something like that, and then they'll try to start it, and then it's going to honk. As you guys heard right there, the honking kill switch is a great way to protect your truck. This will absolutely absolutely ensure that the thief does not steal your truck. The cost for this is between $100 and $400. If you get a really good one, it's gonna be more close to the $400 range. A really crappy one is gonna be about hundred bucks. I am actually selling these for $265. These exact honking kill switches, they come pre-wired. Everything comes perfectly packaged. So that way everything is an easy self-installation. It comes also with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install these. We will send you the video once you purchase a kill switch, just because we don't want the video out there for everyone to see. We just want the people who wanna install and buy the kill switch to have the video. You guys can get it down in the description down below. It'll also include two These Will Be Shot stickers with it. Now, if I was to put the kill switch on a one out of 10 rating of effectiveness, I'd give it a nine out of 10. And that's not just because I'm selling it, guys. This kill switch has saved my truck two times from thieves. It actually honked and I actually caught them when it honked. And not only does it protect against thieves, it saves your truck, but it also makes noise at the same time. There's a lot of kill switches out there that just don't start your truck, but this kill switch actually makes noise to alert the surrounding area that your truck is honking and is being started. Let's say that the thief broke past your kill switch, past your door locks, past your alarm system. Now we are on to the hood, where our next anti-theft device comes into play, and that is actually going to be our hood lock. Now there's a lot of different hood locks you can buy online. You can buy the ones that actually lock the popper attachment, and you can also buy locks for the hood. For this example, I kind of did a makeshift lock here. It's just basically a chain, hooks in, and it locks on itself inside. So you're only able to lift it up past a little bit above your head. So this is as hard, high as I can go here. That is going to protect against thieves starting it up into the term two terminals up there that I showed earlier in this video. It's going to protect against that. 
that to make sure your truck does not get stolen. Now, if they do bring some sort of cutters or some sort of lock picking device, they will pick that lock really quick and get up in there and start it. This is gonna bring us onto our next anti-theft device. And one of my personal favorites, and it's also saved my truck twice, that is going to be our locking club. This is it right here. It, what it happens, what it basically does, how to use it, you put on the steering wheel and then you guys lock it. Given a scenario here, the thief will break everything. They finally get everything started. This is your last ditch effort to protect your truck from them pulling out. It is not only the last ditch effort and also the first ditch effort. So if they break in and you don't have the kill switch installed, this is a great cheaper option to go with to, in order to save your truck from thieves. You try to turn the truck and it hits the top of the roof. They stole my truck. I had the club on it. They pulled it out into the street and they couldn't turn it. So they just left it there. And I woke up in the morning and my truck was in the middle of the street. Never forget that. The savior of saviors here is this steering club. Now guys, if they do have a saw, obviously they're going to be able to cut it. The thing with all anti-theft devices is to slow the thief down. For the rating on this anti-theft device, I give it an 8.5 out of 10 just because it doesn't make any noise. However, it is a cheaper option to protect your truck. It'll comes in at around $40 at Walmart or any other auto parts store. That is why I like this anti-theft option so much. It's one of the cheaper options and one of the better options to protect your vehicle against thieves. Now that you guys have seen the five anti-theft devices, I'm going to show you them actually in action. Guys, I'm a thief. So I come in here and I'm trying to break the lock. Clearly can't get in there with my fingers. Can't get in there with a screwdriver. Also, there's nowhere to push the lock up. Do are able to get in there and somehow jimmy rig it to where they can open the door. The alarm is going to now sound. Let's say they get past the alarm. Now they're onto the kill switch. They come into here. Majority of the times, thief will jump up into here and then the thief will take whatever device he has to break, to break your lock. Uh, in this case, we're using my keys and he will try to start it. And in this case, it'll honk. Now, let's say for some crazy reason, he is not able to get it started. He goes ahead and so he pops the hood and now he's into here. But what happens is, oh, it gets stuck right there and he can't lift it up any higher than this. So now that he can't lift it up any higher than this, he's not able to push it up and go and get into those terminals. What thieves usually do is they're, they push the whole thing up and they let it rest there. And then they go up into there and they get hit the two terminals and start up your truck. But let's say for some God forbid reason, they're able to get your truck started. <laughs> Now they're getting ready to tear out a lot. They're all super excited. They're ready to get going. They're like fist bumping each other, super happy. And then this happens here and they're getting ready to turn out. Uh oh, uh oh, can't turn, whoopsies. And then they're like, oh, well let's try to go the other way. Uh oh, can't go that way either. And then they try to pull it off and they can't pull it off. And then their hopes and dreams of stealing your truck is gone just like that with the final piece to the puzzle, the club. Now that you guys have seen just how these top five anti-theft devices work, I'm gonna be telling you guys the exact cost of all of these. So to put all of these on your truck, it's going to cost you between $800 and $1,000. $1,000 on the high end if you get everything installed and $800 on the low end if you don't get anything installed, you can do it all yourself. Now that is just a small price to pay comparing to your $80,000 truck or $20,000 truck, whatever, how expensive your truck is, that is how much money you're going to save if you just spend that extra $1,000 and a thief doesn't steal your truck. And even better, if you can install that honking kill switch and catch the thief, that would be amazing. I would literally love for you guys to send me a video of you knocking the shit out of that thief after you caught him. Now this is my favorite anti-theft device guys right here and that is actually putting these needle stakes on the seat so that way when the thief tries to get in and sit down so I hope you guys learned something from this video and will implement these five anti-theft devices on your truck to save your truck one day. I'll leave all the links to all of them that you can get in the description down below. Also, if you guys want to pick up the 7.3 liter power stroke kill switches, they'll also be down in the description down below. We're only selling to 7.3 liter power stroke owners right now. And remember guys, at 10K subscribers, we're going to be traveling, meeting all you guys, 48 states, so make sure you guys subscribe down below to the channel. And we're also going to be putting in a new turbo. On the injectors, the injectors have been shipped out today. So by the time you guys see this video, it'll be actually tomorrow that I will be actually doing the uh, injectors and installing them and doing the whole video. So make sure you guys watch more badass truck content. There'll be more up here or down there and peace out guys.